Hey, Michael with X-Force PC and our big in-store simulator, as I call it. Um, you probably, maybe you saw our video before where I was using three projectors on a curved wall. Well, um, that got to be a bit of a pain, so I took that out. So the pro there's some problems when you use projectors. Um, first of all, when you're projecting downward, which is, you can't really avoid it because the projectors have to be above all this that we're inside of. You get kind of a U shape going on, and at the top of the projection, it's actually pretty straight. But down at the bottom, it's it's kind of a U shape. And X Plane gives you some ability if you have the projector key to uh, adjust a lot of that curvature out. But it's a huge pain, and I never could get it quite the way I wanted. Another uh, drawback of the projectors is uh, it takes up more space, so you have to have a bigger area for the curved wall. And also you got to have the lights off. And even with the lights off, they're still not as vibrant as televisions. So basically I sold the um, projectors on eBay, and for what I got for the projectors, I got three 60-inch TVs and put around me. And so it's a tighter design. These are much closer to me, but the effect is as good if not better. Um, in, in some ways it's better because you don't have to turn the lights off even though I do have them off. As you know you can watch your television in your house with the lights on whereas with the projectors it was like the darker that you could get it the better they were and they still were never as vibrant as these are. So that explains the the switch to three uh, TVs. Now you may know X-Plane can do triple display but it does a wide forward view. It's not really a true 180. The only way to get a true 180 is to use three separate computers, one for each of these monitors or TVs, and have each of them show 60 degrees. So I've got 60 here, 60 here, and 60 here degrees of view for a total of 180. Um, this effect works really well. There's not a lot of stretching that has to occur, which is what you kind of get with the wide forward view. It's kind of a stretch. It kind of smears it across three screens, and so you don't have that effect going on. Um, we have real nice frame rate because we're, we're driving it with three computers, one for each screen. So all that works nicely, and they're talking to each other over the network. And the middle computer, of course, is kind of the master, and it tells the other two what to do. So. If I go to a different location on the middle one, the side monitors correspond. We are driving uh, Air Manager here with a yet a fourth computer. It's a smaller, lower-powered computer, and uh, it's got gigabyte bricks. It's a little computer about this big, and I, I'll try to put a picture of it in here. And it's driving Air Manager. Um, it's cleaner and neater and easier for me if Air Manager is on a separate computer. And so that's why I did it that way. It doesn't have to be that way, but um, that's the way I did it. And um, this is not a touch screen. It's an ultra-wide 29-inch. Again, 29-inch ultra-wide. And so I've got a, a switch panel and I've got a radio panel from SciTech in here to help me out so I don't have to grab the mouse so much if I, if I need to make some changes uh, to something on the screen. So that's why I've got the switch panel and the radio panel. Now, of course, over here I have a trim wheel. You might not be able to see it very well. And I have two um, SciTech throttle quadrants as well. And so the whole, the whole setup works nicely. The instruments are nice and crisp and responsive. The um, scenery is very responsive. It's an immersive effect. And so I'll try to give you some uh, different angles on all this. You can set up Air Manager 2 when you switch planes. It'll switch to the uh, correct panel. This is the one I've made for the Baron, so anytime I open up the Baron, boom, this one opens up. And I have one also for the Cessna 172, B1900D, and so when I switch X plane to those planes, Air Manager knows, okay, we'll switch, um, switch panels to the right panel that corresponds with that plane back down on the power a bit. So that's some of the changes we made to our in-store system. 
Again, we were running three projectors. I just simply rep replaced those with three 60-inch TVs. And it makes life a whole lot easier. The TVs don't move. They stay in the right spot. There's no trying to um, get rid of the, the droopiness when you're projecting downward. And um, they're much more vibrant. I don't have to turn the lights off if I don't want to. And even if the lights are on, they still look nice and bright and, um, and crisp. And um, yeah, it's just, for me, the whole experience is, uh, is better all the way around. And it is a tighter package too because the TVs are much closer in, but just because the TVs are closer in, it doesn't really detract from the uh, effect, the immersive effect, because still, if I look out of this, this way or this way, all I see is scenery. Um, it doesn't really matter to my eye how far away that scenery is um, or how far that screen is from my eye. If you have any questions, send me an email, michael at xforcepc.com. Again, that is michael at xforcepc.com.